In this edition of Twin Real Game Reviews, we'll be taking a look at Has Been Heroes by Frozenbite. Now, Has Been Heroes is a roguelike adventure game where you play the role of three knights who have been tasked by the king to take his daughters to school to make sure that nothing happens to them. The game starts you off with two maps, and as you complete the two maps, you then get three maps and four maps, etc., for your next successful run. How many maps in total? Don't know. I've only beaten the game once and it took me many hours to do that because this game is freakishly difficult. Some of the things I do enjoy about the game is one, the voice acting. The person who does the narrations and the voice acting in this game did a fantastic job. Very pleased. The music in the game is great. The visuals, you know, character and enemy animations as you can see there is very smooth. Very well done as well. I'm very happy with that. <coughs> the game does have high amount of replayability because of the fact it's a roguelike and so the items in the game do are randomized and so every run is unique in its own way. Sometimes you do get great items, sometimes you get poor items. So you have to try to do as best you can and make do with what you get. The game does make an interesting use of the controller system with the left stick being used to pick up your spells and then the right button to cast the spells and move you around. The game does have a lot of strategy involved because of the fact that you need to control three lanes and move the characters into the right lanes at the right time so you can take out the enemies before they start swarming you. Some of the things I didn't enjoy about the game is one, the lack of documentation in the game. The game doesn't really explain much besides how to do the initial movement. It doesn't talk about backstabbing, doesn't really say too much about spell combinations besides a basic little tip on it. So there's a lot more that could be explained and tutorialized to give you a better understanding of the game. With the game being a roguelike, there's a lot of luck in the game. Because again, random items, you can get a good run, you can get a bad batch of items. Even the enemies are randomly generated, so you can have certain guys one time certain guys another time. Heck, you can die on your very first battle on the battlefield. When you start the game, as you progress through it, you do unlock extra characters and extra items, as, as I mentioned before. But you can only choose the characters that you want to play with. And that way, you don't get to start with any you know cool items right off the hop. You gotta find them. But the different characters each have their own unique stats unique weapons and stuff like that so you want to pick which characters you're going to play to you know get the best combination of of characters on the game so that we can try to do the best run that you can do and as i mentioned at the beginning the game is freakishly hard you will die many many times i know i have and apparently there's like hundreds of items in the game there's a couple dozen characters you can unlock in the game so yeah huge amount of replayability all in all i would give this game a 7 out of 10 and that's it for this review